Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Dear colleagues, I do believe it's time to express our deep concerns about current development in area of human rights and its violation in Bangladesh. The mass arrests of more than thousands of opposition representatives, the excessive use of force against protesters, persecution of human rights defenders, union workers and journalists, it is the current reality in this large South Asian country. Dear colleagues, current situation there resulted in the reduction of trust of citizens in democracy and less respect and partnership on the international level. The government of Bangladesh should restore a safe environment for NGOs, human rights defenders, activists, religious minorities, and uphold the country's international commitments, notably under the ICCPR. Particularly, the Odikar case is a regrettable step backwards. Adil Rahman Khan and Nasiruddin Elan, two leaders of Odikar, have been faced for more than 10 years with various legal cases against them. Government should investigate allegations of forced disappearances with permission to international observers to attend court hearings. All of this can be achieved only when ruling government will initiate a dialogue with all major political parties to find out a sustainable and democratic solution to the ongoing crisis. Basis of these equal conditions should be represented as well by guarantee access to the best possible medical treatment for the former Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Madame Begum, Khaleda Zia especially in the light of the upcoming 12 general elections in the country in the beginning of 2024. We must bear in mind that the right of the people to choose their representatives is yet to be determined as no mechanism is in place for acceptable elections. This is a problem as riggings, manipulations and non-attendance of the voters merit the 10th and also the 11th parliamentary elections. Independent internal and international observations mission from EU, UN and other institutions should be ready to help achieving this goal. Dear colleagues, we believe that EU has strong reasons to stand with people of Bangladesh as the country is our long-time partner in the trade and development cooperation. Therefore, I consider this resolution as an important tool, call, for improvement in above mentioned areas. Thank you very much for supporting this resolution. Thank you for defending human rights and democracy and thank you for supporting people in Bangladesh.